All right, all right. How's everybody doing tonight? Good to see everybody. Welcome to the Vive Business Builders webinar. If you, if at all possible, if you could show your pretty faces, that'd be cool on the cameras so we can uh, build this community. Uh, tonight, I'm going to um, just go through a few different things. Really want to get back to basics. I've been, I've been doing this and it's been working really well. And just really realize that this, this business, I, I see a lot of people tend to overcomplicate it. Over, you know, we, we relate it to some other thing or we think it's a, a, the whole crazy business model. And it's really, you know, we do two simple things. We get, a, we get a handful of customers and then we show other people to do the same thing. So one of the things that I had forgotten to do is the first part. Now, I get customers all the time. What I'm saying is when I sponsored a new person, um, I forgot what it was like to start my business, right? So <clears throat> I was coaching them on maybe, um, you know, trying to um, – recruit other business partners right away as opposed to let's just get a few customers, right? Sign yourself up, get the experience, save a ton of money in your bills. When anybody here that, that has done that and you've gotten your bills back, you know that you saved hundreds, some people even over a thousand dollars and then it becomes very easy to sell. So what I want to encourage you guys to do is to embrace the simplicity of this business model. Everybody's got a cell phone. Everybody's got an internet. Everybody's got an energy bill. Um, we don't have to convince people to use their cell phones, right? Most other businesses out there, you're trying to sell somebody. You're trying to convince them that they need your weight loss product and to spend a couple hundred dollars a month, or you're trying to convince them to buy a house because you're a realtor. Almost every other business out there, you're, you're, you're selling and convincing, which is that's the only way anything happens. But in our business here. What are we really doing? If we think about it, we're taking some, something that somebody already pays and we're showing them how to drastically save money on it. And it doesn't cost them anything to try. Right? So that's what I mean about really embracing the simplicity and getting out to your mom, getting out to your brother. I see people, some people right away, they go into cold market and they're trying to do commercial and all kinds of stuff. And then three weeks go by and they don't have any customers because they're chasing big fish. And they're not following the business model, right? See, this business model is predicated on simplicity and duplication. And what I mean by that is like you, when you start this business, ideally, that the very same night or the next day you're getting customers. And I want to take a step back. I want to welcome my boy Jonathan Wells to the webinar here. A lot of you guys don't know him. He's brand new. He, uh, he's a retired NFL player. Played for, the, uh, played for the Patriots. Just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. Played for the Titans. And who else did you play for, brother? Wasn't it the Titans? Yeah. Oh, I think you might be muted, huh? Let's see. There we go. We unmuted you. You played for the two teams, right? Yeah, the Houston Texans and the Colts. Texans and the Colts. Cool. It's good to have you aboard. And I see another new guy. Uh, not new, but new to me. Nick Nicholas Fish. So welcome aboard, guys. Welcome to the crazy community. And... Um, the reason why I bring Jonathan up too is because we went to work right away. I mean, we signed up one day, he signed his bills. The very next day, he was entering customers. I think it was his uh, wife's mom or something. Uh, the very, very next day. Like, they didn't overcomplicate it. It made sense. We got on a Zoom. We uploaded some bills. Today. This is easy, right? So don't, don't overcomplicate it, guys. That's, that's the business model. So um, one of the things Jonathan and I are doing, I said, listen, let's just get past 30 points. Like, don't even talk to me about recruiting other people. Let's get past 30 points. Let's follow the business model, get those early bonuses, make a couple rank advance, and then we can start chasing some, you know, big commercial stuff and recruiting people. So that's something I would encourage you guys to do, even if you're a veteran in this, in this business. Even if you've been in for a long time, I would hit the reset button. Go talk to your mom. Go talk to your brothers. Every single one of my family members is a customer, and most of them are business partners. Right, I have me, and then my brother, and then my daughter, and then Jenny, and then who's under Jenny is my dad, and then Chuck, and then my nephew, and then mom. What is that like? Ten people deep. Mm. My yeah. entire family's in this business, right? Now that's because I believe in the business model, not because I need them to do this business. They all have cell phone bills. They all know people. They all need money. Right? They all could use a few extra dollars. So think about that. Now, the other thing is, too, because of the way this business model is structured, you guys know this, this model is designed for people to sponsor people and then put them under other people to help build. 
So when I build a team under my nephew, I'm helping nine of my family members deep. Think about that. Mm -hmm. Really think about that. So if, if my nephew puts an energy bill and my entire lineage is getting paid on that bill, all six levels, right? We're, we're taking up that whole thing. <laughs> so it's just one way to play the game, guys. Like, don't, don't neglect your warm market. This, this starts in your warm market. You know, this is not anything we did in the past. This is not, you're not trying to convince somebody to buy $1,000 worth of products, right? So I want to keep this simple, right? Get some customers. Then we teach people to do the same thing. And the way you teach people is by using your resources. It's not up to anybody new to ever teach anybody anything. You play some videos, you get your upline on the Zoom, your upline shows them, teaches them. We plug into these Tuesday nights, right? You come to Tuesday nights and we learn to do this together, right? So, so this, this business is founded on a community and that's why we come here too, to meet other people so we can all meet each other, right? Um, so let's keep this simple. Let's get back to basics. If you've been stagnant, or if you've been in the business, you're overcomplicating it. It's just not hard. It's just not hard. You got to get past your own fears about asking your family, let's just sit down and hear me out. I know the last 10 things I did weren't that good, but this one's different. <laughs> right? Whatever you did, have fun with it, man. Have fun with it. And then, because when you show them your own bill, they're going to get it. I promise you they're going to get it. So let's keep it simple, guys. Let's follow the business model. I wasn't doing that. I was just going on a recruiting spree. I recruited 30 people in a week. And uh, now I'm like, I, what I really need to do is teach those people how to do this business, right? So that's what I'm doing. Another little trick that I do, guys, I add 20 people a day to my Facebook. I just do this, and not to be gross, but I do this when I'm in the hopper, right? I multitask. <laughs> like, let's see, well, there's little pockets of time everywhere. If you're going to scroll through Facebook, you might as well get paid to do it, right? So that's, that's another little trick I do. And for you new people, I'm going to switch the screen here. Just bear with me for a second. Um, I want to show you a resource that I highly recommend. Let me pull up this website there with me. All right, can you guys see this uh, network marketing pro? Just somebody unmute yourself and say yes or no. Yes, I can. Perfect. Yes. All right, so if you're brand new or even if you're a veteran and you haven't studied anything, this business is no different than any other business. You need to study a little bit about the, the industry that you're in. So if you register for the Network Marketing Pro and you say, get my free book, or you go on Amazon and get this little book, it's very thin. This book is a four-year degree in network marketing. Uh, let me say this differently. Studying this book has made me millions and millions of dollars. Not all of it in network, actually most of it not in network marketing. Think about that. I'm suggesting a book to you that if you study for six months, just loop it in your car, right? As a place to business, if you study it and if you implement the things he suggests, you will become a professional in this industry, right? So there's just a couple of small things. Get some customers, teach people to do the same thing, and study something in the industry, right? So I'm going to grab this link. I'll put it in the chat for you guys. Um, now, the person who told me to do what I'm telling you to do here at the time, five years ago, is earning $150,000 a month in this industry. So, guys, this isn't my opinion or my information. I'm just passing along some very good stuff here. And I'm trying to teach you guys a very simple daily method of operation. Read a little bit, study a little bit, reach out to five people, ask them if they're open. That's the next thing. Have a daily method of operation. Right, we all make excuses about the kids. I'm sick. I'm working. It's all excuses. It's all bullshit. You either want to get ahead or you don't. And I don't mean that in a bad way, but you either want to get ahead or you don't. Um, I was stuck five years ago. I wanted to get ahead, so I did something about it. This business model is the thing that freed me up. Right, it really, really was. This is the thing. This industry is something that I followed that led me to Bob Proctor. It led me all my. It led me to everything. How to become a networker. Most of my best friends are all from this industry, almost all of them actually. A lot of them are right here. And, um, and then we're making new friendships uh, daily. I, I, I think about my, my boy here, Jonathan. It's like him and I resonated quickly, you know? And I just know we're gonna be lifelong boys and, and into a lot of this mischief together, you know? And, and we met through networking. We met through you know, professional networking. Um, 
And I think that's probably the biggest reward of this whole thing is you just meet the coolest people from all over the country, all over the world. You know, I have, I have legitimate friends in like 56 countries right now. Like that's pretty cool. That's, that's a cool thing. I can go to any country and I can stay at somebody's house, you know, all through this industry. So I'm not saying any of you want all this. I'm not saying you want seven figures or all that stuff, but whatever piece of it you want, if you can just follow these simple daily duplicatable things, get the excuses out of the way, reach out to 10 people. I don't care what they say. I care that you try. You want to be asking somebody every single day, are you open to taking a look at my business model? I don't care what they say. I care if you try. Are you open to saving money on your electric bill? All I care is that you guys are asking the right questions and getting in front of people. Through the natural laws and through studying and through all this stuff, you're going to be successful doing that. It's just the way it is. It's not a hard business model. So ask yourself, what is your daily method of operation? And the easiest way to answer this is, what did you do yesterday for this business? Did you ask at least one person to look at your business model? Did you ask at least one person to become a customer? If you didn't, then you're not in business. And it, honestly, guys, it doesn't matter to me what you do. I, I want to help you. I want you to succeed. But it's not going to impact my life one way or another if you take my advice or not. Just trying to show, you know, I'm trying to give you a pattern interrupt here. Come here. So we keep it simple. And this business has to be simple. It won't duplicate if it's not. Right, this is a business that duplicates down at a sixth grade level. Right, that you have the thousands of people, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of people all over the country, all getting a few customers and showing people how to press play on a video. Does that make sense, guys? Like, let's get back to the basics of this stuff. Now, that being said, we are blessed to have some large commercial products that are ridiculous, and they're actually ridiculously easy to sell. And I'm going to show you how to do that too. If any of you guys want to play around with the HVAC products in the commercial world, this is what you say. I have a friend of mine that's an energy expert. From what I understand, they can lower the heating and cooling costs of your facility by 20 to 30 percent. Would you like to get on a phone call for five or 10 minutes? I want you to take it off yourself, tell them you know an energy expert, that you can help them out. And you get me or Matt Payne or Kenny Cloutier or Eric Reed or Lisa or William Geist. You get somebody else on the phone. That's as, that's as much as I want you to do because an 18-year-old kid can say what I just said. And they can point to a resource and get somebody else to do all the heavy lifting. If you guys are brand new, I want you to do the same thing. I got this amazing business model. Maybe for you, maybe not. But I think it's worth checking out. Love to get on the phone with my business partner. This is the business that led him to 14 revenue streams and multiple seven-figure companies. Something like that. Like, let us do the heavy lifting. You got, especially in the early days, you have resources. You have, you, know, you might as well use them, right? So keep it, keep it simple. When it comes to asking people about the products and services, ask them if they're open. Hey, man, I, I found a way to save a ridiculous amount of money on my bills. Are you open to checking it out? Are you open to checking it out? Are you open again on a quick phone call? Not many people can answer that question. No, I'm not open-minded. Think about that. So language is everything, right? If you ask somebody, you know, I found a way to save some money in your bills. Would you like to see it? That's a yes or no question. It's just a blatant yes. Now nah, I'm all set. I'm busy. Thanks, I'm busy. Are you open to taking a look is a much different phrase. So let's, let's get some simple language, right? Same thing about the, the business model. Hey, I got, a, I got a business model. I thought about you because you're in real estate. I thought about you because you're a retired NFL player. I thought about you because you're a stay-at-home mom. I thought about you because you're a kindergarten teacher and you have the summers off. I thought about you because you're a flooring guy and I think this might resonate. So the reason why you thought about them could be it's whatever they're doing. And I have a business model that might be a fit, maybe not. Maybe for you, maybe not, but I think it's worth taking a look. Are you open to checking it out? If, checking it out. If not, no big deal. I'd love to catch up anyway. See the language, guys? Try to get that. And this will be recorded. We'll send it out to all you guys. Let's get the language on. Let's keep it simple. We do two things. We get some customers. We show the business model.
All right, so I want to show you, I want to show you guys a little bit of a reason why you not, why you may not be taking action, and this is, this might make sense. Let me, uh, let me flip screens here. Bear with me. So this little guy here is something that we teach. I teach this to corporate sales teams. I teach it to entrepreneurs, CEOs. I teach it down to millennials. We teach this all over the place. This is a representation. Can somebody unmute and tell me if you can see this little stick man? Yes, we yes. can see it. Perfect, thank you. Um, this, this represents the mind. Now this isn't the mind, but when I say what is the mind, most people think of the brain. And your, your brain is no more your mind than your fingernails are. Your brain is electronic switching station. So what we have here is a graphical representation of the mind-body connection. So what, we, what you're seeing here is the conscious mind, the subconscious mind, and the trick to the deal here, guys, is the subconscious mind is what drives the body into action. And this is why we can study, 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 study something, but the body doesn't move, and we find ourselves watching Game of Thrones reruns for four hours straight at night. It's because we're not getting the information into the subconscious mind. And I'm going to show you guys why. So there's two sides of this equation. And you can see here on the left-hand side, it's a negative, negative thought process. And then the right-hand side is a positive thought process. So what happens is ignorance produces worry and doubt. So maybe some of you start this company. You don't know what's going to happen. You don't know what it's about. You're ignorant of the business model. But that's why you're here is to learn, right? And what happens is worry and doubt in the conscious mind produce fear in the subconscious mind. And fear has to flow to and through the body and create the physical form of anxiety. So sometimes we get excited. We start a business the very next day. is holy shit, what have I done? In worry and doubt, what are my neighbors going to think? I used to play pro, pro football and now I'm selling this stuff. Right? Fear and doubt and worry uh, creep in, which is a choice, produces fear. And that produces anxiety in the body. And since we don't like the feeling of anxiety, we procrastinate and we start eating cheesy poofs instead, right? But this is what's going on in your mind body. Anybody, this could be anything. This could be um, trying to be an actor, trying to start a new job, a real estate company, network marketing, trying to date somebody, trying to go to the gym for the first time. This is life right here. This is not just network marketing. This is why we procrastinate. And procrastination, unfortunately, a body not in motion is depressed. It produces depression. Guys, when we're not creating, it's depressing. We're meant to grow by the laws of nature. And this is why people that grind away at the same old job for 40 years get depressed because they're not creating anything. We are meant to create. Uh, creation will lead to good feelings. Good feelings are high vibrations. And high vibrations are just a conscious awareness of, um, of good feelings, right? So if any of you have any kind of anxiety, it comes from ignorance. And I don't mean that in a bad way. Ignorance just means not knowing. It means you don't know how your mind and body work because worry and doubt is a choice. Worry and doubt is not something you have to live with. It's something you choose to live with from ignorance. And again, I don't mean that in a bad way. It sounds like such a bad word, but it's not. We're not taught this stuff in school and it's not your fault. Um, but you are gaining awareness tonight. So after tonight, you will no longer be ignorant. And Bob likes to say there's a difference between ignorance and stupidity. Ignorance is not knowing. Stupidity is knowing and doing it anyway, right? So we don't want to be stupid moving forward. Um, worry and doubt produces fear. Fear produces anxiety. So if any of you are struggling with anxiety, this, this is what it's from. So you just want to get educated on what it's all about. Now, the other side of this equation is knowledge from study and understanding, positive thinking. See, we don't fear that which we understand. You don't fear driving. You don't fear walking, speaking. You don't fear uh, cooking dinner. Because at some point, you learned all those things. Uh, you might fear your new network marketing business, but not if you understand this. There's no reason to fear it. Uh, you have us. You know everything there is to know about this business because you're one phone call away from 50 people that love you. Think about that. You have resources. It's not like that in corporate America. It's sink or swim. Try starting a real estate business um, and see how many people want to help you that are your competitors. It's totally different here. We get paid to help each other, literally. We literally get paid on each other's success. So it's a very, very good, uh, it's in harmony with the law of increase uh, type of business model. So study and understanding produce faith. Faith produce well-being, and well-being produces a body an acceleration of what we call action. So, and then action obviously produces a body at ease, which is the opposite of depression and dis-ease, right? So 
What I want to show you is the knowing doing gap. The knowing doing gap is the difference between knowing information. Like I literally just gave you guys a roadmap to have a seven figure business. If you follow what I just showed you and you can remove fear and remove disconnect from results and not give a shit what your colleagues and your peers and all oh, I showed it. I showed this to a doctor and he said, is this that one of those things? Well, the doctor is only making a half million dollars a year and we can show you how to make a half million a month. So he's only, he's only illustrating his own ignorance in business models um, because he's probably still working for a salary instead of leveraging like we do in network marketing. So think about it. You always got to think about who's giving you information. You'll be hard pressed to find a billionaire that doesn't love network marketing. And I mean, love it. Richard Branson loves it. Bob Proctor loves the idea, the concept. We get paid to help people. Now you will find some millionaires, low level millionaires that are ignorant about this industry that will uh, shoot it down. Oh, it's one of those things, you know? Uh, but it comes from ignorance because they're slaving away a hundred hours a week. They got two car washes and they think they're rich. So it's an ignorance, but you, you won't find many. Robert Kiyosaki loves network marketing. Billionaires, think about it, right? Don't just hear these words. Really think about it, the industry we're in. Um, and that's what we're trying to teach you. So I promise you, if you follow this, these simple things, um, every single day, a little bit of work every day, five years from now, you'll, uh, number one, you'll be hugging me and kissing me and thanking me. But number two, you'll look back and say he was right. Uh, what happens with most people in this industry, they, they get onto the left side of the equation. They reach out to five people with the wrong language. They try some things that don't work and then they curl up in a ball and die. Um, and it's such a low investment point, $189 that it's easy to quit. So that, that's really the deal behind it. So, but I wanted to show you guys. So the difference between the knowing doing gap is having knowledge in the conscious mind, right? Reading something puts it in the conscious mind. You have to read it a hundred times to get it into your subconscious mind. And the subconscious mind literally drives the body, right? 96% of what we do is habitual programmed behavior driven by the subconscious mind. Most of the times when you're doing something stupid, you don't even know why you're doing it. And if I asked you, you'd say, I don't know. Why'd you do that? I don't know. So you know you, that's not good, right? Why are you drinking soda every day for five years and you're you know, 300 pounds overweight? I don't know. It's a program. We're programmed to do this stuff. So what we want to do is change that programming through the spaced repetition of studying. And that's why that book I told you, loop that for the next six months straight, the GoPro. Loop it, loop it, loop it in your car. When you're driving around, instead of listening to music, and then apply it and watch what happens. Does that make sense, guys? So what I want to do is open up for any Q&A to any new people and uh, about anything, and then teach you guys a little bit about text blitzing. Anybody have any questions? <coughs> it's on audio. What's that, brother? I say that that book is there. Yeah, the if, you go, if you go to um, you know, Amazon, you go to Audible, that's on, uh, yep. Yeah, yeah, I'm a big fan of, of listening over. I, I, I do read at night, but you can only read so much. It takes time. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Okay. But I promise that guy, that guy has made hundreds of millions of dollars in the network marketing industry. Mm -hmm. he, he's the top coach in the world. We go to see him every year in Vegas. And the people that I train from in Vegas, they're seven, eight, and nine figure earners. Over $100 million in this industry. Wow. It's, it's, a, it's a global industry. Most people just don't know the professional side of it, you know? Um, now, guys, like I said, don't make my goals your goals. Some of you might just want to make a few hundred bucks, but let's get there quickly. Let's not make it painful. See, people won't follow your painful experience if it takes you five years to make it to $100. If you're trying to sell them that business model, I'm, I'm not buying. Like, let's go, let's hit these bonuses. Let's get some customers. Let's have a good story. People will buy that. Does that make sense? Cool. So who else? Brian. No, oh, who do we got? Deb. <clears throat> Deb. Um, when I was in the other business that we were all doing for a while, um, connected, I was listening to the GoPro, and that's when I excelled my business big time. Uh -huh. um, and it's Eric Worre. Definitely, listening to the audio is definitely awesome to have in your car, just for other people to to know that it, it really works and. I'll have to pull that one back out because I haven't listened to him in a while. Yeah. I mean, he's got a whole series in there. It's just like a four part question. And actually I'll play along with Lisa. Lisa, play along with me here. Lisa, hypothetically speaking, I just showed you this business in order to make this worth your while. How much would you need to earn per month extra? Um, a thousand dollars a month. All right. A thousand bucks a month. Now, hypothetically speaking, 
and I, yeah, you may want to do this business, you might not, but hypothetically speaking, how many hours a week part-time would you be willing to put into this, you know, to earn that thousand bucks? Probably five to 10. Five to 10 a month or a week? A week. A week, okay. And again, hypothetically speaking, like I said, I don't need you to do this business, but if you were to do this, how long of a period of time, if I could get you to $1,000 a month residual income, how long would you be willing to work in this business part-time with me to get there? As long as it takes. Oh, well, that's not the normal answer, but let's say she said <laughs> Sorry. <simple. laughs> let's say, uh, listen, I, even a, a pessimist, right? Whatever, six months, right? All right, so Lisa, if I could show you how to make $1,000 a month residual income working five to 10 hours a week over the next six months, would you be willing to take, the, take this to the next step and, and see what this is all about? Yes. So do you see that line of questioning, guys? I'm asking her. I'm asking her. I'm asking her. Hypothetically. That all comes from the GoPro. Now, if she said that she wanted to make $10,000 a month working two hours a week over the next six months, I would say, you know, at least I'd love to do that too. That's just not possible in this industry. I'm going to be honest with her. But if you do want to make that, I can show you how to get to 10000 and I can show you how to do that in a year, but you might have to work 15 hours a week. And I can show you exactly what to do though. Now, if that's more reasonable, if that sounds good, I can teach you that. So I'm not going to blow smokes up somebody's ass. This is a business, guy. It's not a lottery trick, I can promise you. I know a lot of people that make $0.00 after 20 years of network marketing. Because they never do anything, you know? But you see that language? Now, that language is easy. But it, and it's in that book. Right? Thanks, Lise. Anybody else got questions? Yeah, Brian, I got a question for you. Tiago, my main man. He's my <laughs> superstar. I signed this guy up, and that night he was putting customers in. I have, I have an a interesting question for you. So if you come across somebody that has a negative experience with network marketing, how would you approach them? Uh, several different ways. Uh, there's a book called How to Win Friends and Influence People. What I do is get on the same side of the table, ask them about it. Let them pour their heart out. Hey, do me a favor. Tell me a little bit about your experience. Pull it out because you're going to get information. Well, I had, it wasn't actually me. It was my uncle. He was in Amway back in the 60s or back in the 80s. And he ended up with like $5,000 worth of product in his garage. He ended up like pissing off the whole family. Like they'll tell you a whole story. It's like, you know what? I had the same exact thing happen to me. Right? I almost didn't start. I almost didn't get into this industry because I was an engineer. And I was like, Jesus, what am I going to burn my whole wall market with one of these pyramid schemes? But since it was in energy and since it's with people's bills, it caused me to just take a deeper look. And when I took a deeper look, this is what I found. I found that there's professionals in this industry that have global operations with over a million people in their company that are making over seven figures a month. Now, thank God I had the presence of mind not to just be ignorant or stay ignorant and keep asking questions. So the, the idea there, guys, is you want to get on the same side of the table. Now, what I'm teaching you here is gold. This will... You can do this with your kids, your spouse, in real estate, any business. You want to neutralize the mind and get on the same side of the table. So if somebody says, dude, I can't believe you're bringing this shit to me. You know what? I, gotta be, I thought the same fucking thing. Like the more adamant, sorry for my language, the more adamant they are, the more I'm going to mirror it. And I'll be honest, when this was first brought to me, I'm like, here's another one of those things. But my real story was, because it was in energy, I'm like, wait a minute. Everybody's paying electric bills. I should check this out. I don't, I don't have to sell somebody on paying an electric bill. They're already doing it. So I use that. I get on the same side of the table. Does that make sense? Now, ideally, Tiago, you wouldn't even be having that conversation because I would be on the phone with you. Right? We peak interest, get people on a Zoom or a three-way call, at least initially. So you're going, head, you're going head to head with a pro NFL, by the way. You guys are, you join like the same day and you guys are, you guys are neck and neck right now. <laughs> We're both going to kill it. That's right. That's right. We're going to kill it together. <laughs> so Brian, in a, a short, what that is, it's the thought felt and, or. Yeah, it's the feel felt found. Feel Listen, felt I, know found. How, I know how you feel. I felt the, felt same, the same way. way. <laughs> right. I felt the same way. But right. I found. <laughs> But something about this business caused me just to dig a little deeper. Now, honestly, I don't care if you join this business with me. I care if you get educated because I think it might be a good fit. I, I say things like that. that. That's a gut punch. I don't care if you do this. 
it's, it's a shock. But I thought of you because you told me six months ago, you laid off and you're stuck. And this is what it's done for me. This is what I found, right? So good, good questions, guys. Anybody else got a question or? I think I'm good. No questiones? Brian, yeah. I just got an email today telling me that I'm saving $15 on my monthly bill for Verizon. Very cool. That's cool. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's, I mean, every little bit counts, you know? Yep. Right. Brian, I have something. Sure. Um, so I think Joy is still on here. Joy is the new associate from Vive Peter Staphylopoulos. No, never say the name right. <laughs> joining us from Peter's team. She's um, she's here and she's on. So welcome, Joy. No, Joy's actually in our team. Oh, there's another Joy. Joy Nash. Oh, two Joys. Yeah. <laughs> you can never get enough Joy. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> The other, the other thing that I want to add, guys, is um, your content is, it is what it is. Right? It's, it's, uh, it's good stuff. Um, I'll just share that, those of you two that haven't heard this before, that in network marketing, there's this thing called the Thompson Rule. And it goes like this. 80% of the people who are in network marketing have a desire level of zero to $500 a month. Mm. 15% of people who are in network marketing have a desire level of two to $3,000 a month. 5% of people who are in network marketing have a desire level to be earning $25,000 or more a month. And that is from Larry Thompson. If you don't know him, look him up. He's a great network marketer. And so I say that because you heard Brian say, don't let his goals be your goals. Mm -hmm. All of he's spot on. But just remember, and if you have a team already or if you've been in network marketing before, you can probably relate to this. I know it's true on our team. 80% of the people, they have a desire level of zero to $500 a month. Some people are just simply happy being a part of something, and that's okay. Now, it's the people who tell you they want to make X dollars. You know what I mean? That's all. So you have to be able to differentiate because if you go after people with your goals, if they're very high up here, you're going to lose them. Yeah, that's a really good point. So I just, I wanted to, because I see we have a couple of new people on. So I just, I wanted to share that because it's true. I don't care what company it is, what product you have, what service you have. It's the 80-15-5 and it applies. Mm -hmm. Keep that in mind when you're out there prospecting and working with your teams. Yeah. Yeah, what I generally find is when I help somebody get past 500 or 1,000 a month, um, it gets addicting. <laughs> right? But it's like, even though, you know, that changes lives, by the way. Listen to this one, 75% of the foreclosures that happened in 2006, 7, 8, 9, and 10, I know that era, 75%, I'm talking millions of foreclosures across the country, they would have been saved with an extra $375 a month. People's lives can change with 500 bucks a month. So it's a really good, that's why I said we got to get back to just get 30 customer points, earn the $150 commission. Like, let's hit all the chains, you know, first couple of ranks. See if you like it. See if it works. If you, you know, see if it resonates. And if, if it does, now, since you have a bunch of customers, you can go teach, teach people to do the same thing, you know. So I'm really just getting to the, back to the basics myself because Lisa's 100% spot on. Most people, if you can just show them in six months to get to 500 bucks a month, it's, it changes a lot. And that's really easy to do in this company. It really is. Um, anybody else have any questions? All right, why don't, why don't we do this thing, guys? I want, let's do a little bit of what we call a tech split. So I want to I get you guys moving, get the body moving. Let's go from the knowing doing gap. What I want you guys to do is open up your phones, start with the letter A, and let's start texting people about being a customer. All right, and what we can do is just write it the letter A. There's nobody that can't be a customer. And find a reason why you're reaching out. Hey, reaching out because you're in electrical and I found a way to save a lot of money in your business. Found a way to save a lot of money in all those bills you're paying. Would it be okay if we got a quick phone call? I'd love to catch up. Something like that. Now, if you guys, what I want you to do is open up your phones. 
I want, we got about 20 more minutes. I want everybody to reach out to 10 people. Get in the habit of when you build your business, reach out and send a text message to 10 people. Now, you don't have to do this, but it's your business. And that's the basic core level, right? 20 minutes a day, reach out to 10 people. That business will build you an empire over a period of time. So what I want to do is I want to help you guys with the language. And Lisa can help and Matt Payne can help. Um, is that you, Mr. Haywood? Where are you? I see you lurking. Come, come closer to the can. I want to show. I'm right here, brother, man. <laughs> Jonathan, are you not twins with my boy? <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling oh, you, I, I got you guys. Got a new... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's great. Yeah. Uh, that's awesome. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. What's uh, up, bro? What's going on? Not too much, man. I'm chilling. How are you? Oh, uh, man, I can't call it. Just uh, trying to figure this thing out. It's all good. It's excellent. There it is. Yeah, I'm going to connect. Uh, I'm going to connect you guys on a text because uh, my boy Kenny, he's been in this business. He's a pro at it. I want you to have other resources too, you know? Okay. I'm, yeah, you know, I, I, my way is my way, and you should have a bunch of different ways. You know what I mean? I'm going to connect you with Lisa. I'm going to connect you with Ken Haywood, and I already connected you to Matt and Kenny down there. Yep. So uh, we all got different flavors and styles, and you might resonate. Um, you know, you might find somebody you show the business that resonates with Lisa or Kenny more than me, and you might have them do the three-way call. You know what I mean? Gotcha. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to set you guys up. You guys will probably shoot the shit about football, too. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Thanks, so, Brian. Uh, yeah, sure. So, guys, open up your phones. Let's, let's try to make a goal in the next 20 minutes. And if you, if you don't know what to say, just unmute yourself and say, hey, I got this guy. He's an electrician. Hey, I got my mom. I got my sister. Whatever it is, and I'll, I'll try to coach you on what to say. All right, guys? Yeah, I'm on my phone right now. Uh, oh, okay. On the Zoom. Um, I will have to leave out to do it. That's right. I think uh, – I think you can just go to your phone and stay on the Zoom. I don't think it'll close. We'll lose your picture, but that's okay. Okay, all right. And like I said, if you get stuck, just come back to the Zoom and ask us uh, what to say. It's pretty straightforward, though. Yeah, Brian, I actually have been able to um, get out text, and the Zoom will stay on. I'm still on the meeting, so there shouldn't be a problem. Cool, awesome. I want you to be the first one to get to 10. When you, when you get to 10, uh, there's a little icon to raise your hand. So let me know. I want to see you guys' hands when you get to 10, see if we can't hold you accountable. I'm going to do the same thing right here. So. I said, if anybody's stuck, just uh, unmute yourself and we'll, we'll coach you on some good language.
Brian. Hello. Question. So when when you're sending out like the initial um, text message or whatever to get them interested, is it uh, is it okay to send that two minute video with it, or should you just wait till you get them on the phone? So I can uh, I can give you my methodology, which I think works. What what I like to do is I like to be on the phone or on a Zoom meeting. I like to control the meeting. Uh, mm -hmm. That being said, you can send you can send it. It's just human nature, people. They don't have an attention span. They watch it later. A million things happen. What I try to do is book an appointment like a professional. Got you. Right. So my first year uh, in the business. Now, for customers, I actually went over to the houses. Okay. I, I, I had 32 customers in two weeks. I literally drove to all my friends. I had my laptop. It was human to human. You know what I mean? Yeah. I had beers. We had fun. It like, took 15 minutes. Showed a video, signed them up, and I, I ended up staying there for two hours having a beer and reconnecting with all my friends, you know? So that's what I did. Um, I would say you're gonna have the the more the more um, contact you have, the more success you can have. You know. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Um, all right. What yeah. I do now is I do it all over Zooms. I, I peak interest. I get them on a Zoom and I sign them up because I like to control. I like to make sure I close the deal. Gotcha. So. Okay. All right. So all all those methods work, uh, and I think I think the more we put into it, the uh, more effective we become. Lise, what are your thoughts on that? What are you What are you doing? I would say, in my opinion, it really depends on who you're talking to. Mm -hmm. More market, absolutely. You know, if it's a friend or something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> more market. If you're doing so, for those of you that don't know me, my jam is social media. I'm all about social media prospecting. Um, and so I have a lot of cold market. Um, so for me, I don't have the flexibility with my current schedule and kids and life to do a call with every single person that's interested in the customer portion. Now, if it's somebody that wants to know more about the business, I absolutely, I won't do anything without a Zoom. If it's a customer, I'll follow the same script. Like, all right, if you're, if, so I'll do the whole, are you open? If not, no big deal. They say, yes, they want to hear more. I say, great, I have a short video. How soon do you think you can watch it? Well, I can watch it right now. Okay, great, so if I call you in five minutes, you'll be free to chat. So I won't send the, the link to anybody until I get a commitment that we're going to have a conversation. Now, that doesn't always mean we have the conversation. So, you know, it depends. Sometimes people watch it. They think they know what it's about and you don't, you know, you don't connect with them. Again, that's especially with cold market, you know, with warm market, it's obviously different. I've had people sign up. Several people, several of our customers have signed up by just sending them the link and following the process, though. Like I never just send the link without asking them if they're open and I never send it without getting a time to follow up right after they watched it. Does that make sense? Yeah, cool. Yeah, I think, I think it depends on the, the circle too. There's a close circle around you, which is friends, relatives, family. I mean, that's, what, that's where I get all my customers. And then it starts to go up from there from people you haven't seen in a while. Um, the way I do this business is I show everybody the business model almost everybody, unless it's like my 95 year old grandmother or my lazy beer drinking buddy, somebody that I don't want to be in business with, that's a customer. So for me, I'm just reaching out to everybody. I, I relate it to their industry, just like I showed you. And I said, I get a business idea when I'm by you, maybe a fit, maybe not, but it's, I think it's worth checking out. And I get on a Zoom because if they don't, if they don't want to do the business, they, they always become a customer. It's an either or at that point. You, you see the value, you want, you want to learn more about the business or would you rather just be a customer? And it gives them an out too. It's like, you know what, I'd rather just do the customer thing. All right, that's a win. <laughs> so there's, there's a lot, you'll, you'll find your own groove. Um, but I remember when I first started the business, I went to my closest friends and helped them out as a customer. And then six of them ended up becoming business partners. So that was pretty cool. I got 30 customers in two weeks and then six, I went back and then six of them became business partners and, and my business was rocking and rolling, you know? So. So I, Brian, that's a good point. We did the same thing. So when Russ and I first got started with Veeve and we've been in Veeve since they, since before they launched, the people that joined our team were people that knew us very well. They were in a previous venture, venture with us. They knew Brian, Matt and Kenny and our, you know, our circle. And so they were very, very warm market that came into the business and then became customers. Now, a year later, I have nowhere near prospected my warm market, 
but for two reasons. One, I discovered I had a little paradigm around it, which I'm in the process of breaking through. But two, there's a lot of people that I don't want to work with in my warm market, to be quite honest with you. And, you know, Ray Higdon teaches that your warm market, like network marketing, it either rewards you or it hurts you based on your previous life, right? So if you're a person like Brian, you're very successful. You have multiple businesses. You, you know, Brian obviously is a very successful businessman. Some people that we bring into this, and, and maybe, you know, even some of us, I, I don't have the, the kind of um, uh, skill set or um, circle that Brian has. You know, when Russ and I were in the previous business doing a previous network marketing company, we kind of hammered our war market. Some of our war market is burnt out. So for them, it's a different approach. You know, it's customer, 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 customer. Because for me, and, and I love how you say everybody has a different way, Brian, because you and I are very opposite on some things when it comes to prospecting. And I think that's great because each person will find what works for them. It's whatever's going to work for you when you're going to stick to you. That's the thing. You know, we all do something a little bit differently. But when I'm sending the customer video to someone, I can say to them, hey, by the way, if you decide you ever want to make money with this, all you have to do is show people the same video that I'm showing you now. And that's all about duplication because we can't do this by ourselves. So if my warm market loves me, they see me as very successful, and I bring in someone who doesn't have a great warm market or who's burnt out because this is their 15th network, network marketing company, and I teach them they have to do warm market, or focus only on one market, they're gonna get discouraged really fast. So again, everybody's different. It's, it's you, what you feel comfortable with, and what sounds like you. You know, you don't wanna uh, say a pitch that sounds like Brian or sounds like me, you wanna be you. People resonate with real. But at the end of the day, be yourself, you know? Yeah, Lisa, I, I do wanna remind you something. When I first started network marketing, I wasn't, that much of a successful business. I had one business, right? Network marketing is the reason I'm a successful businessman now. And so what I do is I tell people my story. Like my story now, and they're like, whatever you're doing, I'm in because of the results, right? So Jonathan, I would say the same thing. When you're talking to somebody about the business, tell your story. It's like I was living, I had the dream. You know what I mean? But they didn't teach us what to do, right? What was the NFL? What did it stand for? Not for long. <laughs> right? Not for long. So tell, just tell me your story of why you're doing this. I, I connected with some really sharp people, doing some business mentoring, and I learned about the leverage business models, and, uh, you know, my way wasn't working or whatever. So that, that's really what, like, Lisa hit it on the head. They resonate with real, <clears throat> and they want, to they want to be a part of something real, you know? Cool. Who else says 10? I see Kenny Haywood, Lisa Kennedy. Who else says 10? Go ahead and type, type it into the chat when you hit 10. Mr. Dirac, of course. Got the best mustache in Vive. I think the mustache is driving him. It's got a magic power. Well, in that case, I won't shave right away. No, don't shave it, brother. <laughs> Joe, is the, Joe is the Tom Selleck of our company. <laughs> are, are people brave enough to share? You know, if, if we ask the question, like, are you prospecting every day? Or just starting with today or yesterday, did you prospect? Because sometimes I feel we come on and we talk about this stuff, but when we get off, I always, I always wonder, right, not always, that's impossible, but I sometimes wonder, are we really prospecting? You know, are we hearing this stuff, taking notes, and then just going back to our regular life? Or are we making this a part of our life? So is, is anyone brave enough to say, like, did you do something today? Did you ask at least one person today if they were open to taking a look at your product, service, or opportunity? Because if the answer is no, there's no judgment. It's just, it, you got to take action in order for this to work. You know, Ryan's the, the best of the best. We've got some fantastic people on here. I mean, so, so, so much content, so many skills. But if you don't walk away and do something with it, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, that's why I wanted to show you guys that, that stick man. That the, it's, um, I always say this. It's, it's, not, it's not anybody's fault when we don't take action because we're not taught about our mind-body connection in school. You know, we, get, we either get programmed to take action or we don't. If you, if you were born... 
Richard Branson's son or daughter, you'd be very high action. You'd just be a high vibrating, very successful for the most part, unless you <clears throat> went down a, the wrong path. Just being in that environment, you would have been taught to take a lot of action. Uh, most people are not. It's generational, and they've been teaching us for generations to be employees, which is uh, no bueno. So, who else is at 10? Let's move these numbers. And if you guys start to get feedback too, let us know what they say because we can help you on the second and third text too. Got about six more minutes. I want to see if everybody here can check off 10. 10 people a day, again, will, that'll get you there. If you just follow it every day and just surrender to the process, come to Tuesday nights, sign a few customers a week, show the business, sign a, sign a business partner here and there, it'll, that'll duplicate and that'll grow. Mr. Matt Payne, are you at 10 yet? What are you doing over there? I see you. No, man, I'm, I'm on, uh, on child duty right now, playing uh, old maid. Oh. Did I just did I just hear an excuse? What is that? Yeah, I, well, you want to <laughs> get her text in too, man. Have her do the text. Just type anything. <laughs> my my fear is if she has a phone, she'll she'll never get off it. <laughs> Not starting that at three and a half, well, almost four. No, I hear you. I don't get to spend much time with her anyway, so I am just listening tonight, people. Gotcha. Any any uh, anything you heard? Any words of wisdom? I love all of it. I think getting back to uh, customers first, you know, and really helping people get their customers is key. Because um, truthfully, I mean, that's the business, right? We only do two things in this business. And I know it's, I make it sound simple, but when you, when you really yeah, keep it simple, yeah. things work better. So we get a handful of customers and then teach other people to do the same thing. So if you can't get a handful yeah. of customers, how can you teach someone else to get customers? I mean, at the bottom line, so um and we are here to help you know every every single one of us but we're not going to drag anybody we're not going to force anybody uh you got to see it for yourself and want it for yourself you know and make the first step don't don't touch please Daddy. Yes. <laughs> thanks brother. those are those are good words crystal clear words who else is anybody getting close to 10 we got a couple more minutes here Yeah, I'm at ten. Nice, nice, nice. Was that the Colts player? Was that Jonathan? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Jonathan Ray Higdon loves the Indianapolis Colts. If you go into the summit, you'll get to have to you'll have to introduce the two of you. Oh, there I am. Okay. No. I, I don't like the Colts. How do you do this? Oh, you don't? No, I, I'm a, I, I like the Texans. I was only at the Colts for a short time. Ah, okay. All right. Well, we'll still introduce you. <laughs> it would be beneficial for you in your network marketing business. How's that? <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> By the way. Yeah. All right. Any no, I hit 10. Oh, cool. Sweet. Good job. High five. You can hear me? I don't know how to use this Zoom, Brian. That's all right. All right. <laughs> Good job, good job. So guys, this is not, I'm just trying to prove a point. This is not hard. Do, do this every day. It only took 20 minutes, right? There, there's your out, of, out of those 10, I got three confirmed times for calls tomorrow. Oh, nice. So far. So I, I'm yeah. sure the rest of them hit me back as well. That, that, see, that's, that's the business model. That's it. Welcome, welcome to the big times. <laughs> <laughs> that was we, teach, we teach people to do the same thing, you know, so. Right. Awesome, guys. Anybody in the last questions? I'm going to wrap up here. This is going to be recorded. So. If you got, uh, who here got some value out of this? Oh yeah, definitely. Because right. what yeah. I want you to think Thanks about, if, if you guys have teams, what are they missing by not being on here? That's, that's the deal. We, we the, the, the number one highest paying activity in network marketing is promotions. It's the highest paying activity in any business, by the way. In the NFL, it's promotions, right? Um, Real estate is promotions. Everything's promotions. Building your team is promotions. And it's not telling people to show up. It's, it's getting on the phone and saying, this is what you missed. This is why you might want to go on. I learned a thing, and the next thing you know, my body was moving into action, and I got three appointments. Right? Promotions is getting on the phone human to human. So if you guys have teams, don't keep showing up every week by yourself. And if right? you 
guys have a specific topic or you know questions or something that you're struggling with, you all should be part of the Vive Success Network. If you drop a comment in there or send Brian, Matt, Kenny, myself, can any one of us a message and let us know, you know, where you're at and what you'd like us to cover, we can include that in an upcoming training, you know, for you and your team. Now this is um, the Vive mm -hmm. Success Network. You look it up on YouTube and Facebook. We have all these all these trainings. We got a lot of trainings there and uh, and then a lot of good information. So. Awesome, everybody. Well, I appreciate everybody coming. Hopefully you got some value out of that. Until next week, be well and God bless. We'll see you.